What's good, peeps? Thanks always passing by the channel. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. Don't forget as well, please, to smash that like button. And you can support the channel by going to my Patreon account. Uh, link is in the description. All right, let's talk um, VADA testing or lack of VADA testing. Um, it was brought to my attention, I guess the world uh, of boxing's attention, that there'll be no VADA testing for uh, Danny Jacobs versus Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. That fight goes down in, what, four weeks' time um, in America. There will be no VADA testing. Now, the guy that kind of broke the story, Michael Woods, um, Eddie Hearn responded to that and said, uh, Michael, for your information, uh, there was supposed to be VADA testing, but VADA said they didn't want to do their testing, but there will be some sort of other testing or something along those lines. I'll put the tweet up for that fight. Now, that's a bit dubious. And the reason I say this is that it's not like VADA didn't want to test Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. VADA, let's kind of rewind a bit here, turned up at the wildcard gym as part of their clean boxing program, voluntary testing, tried to voluntarily test Chavez Jr. He decided to run out the back door. So why on earth would they want to really test someone who they've tried to test and the person ran away? Obviously, they're not going to want to test. So that's the reason that VADA decided not to be involved in this fight because they clearly know this guy is doing something. And the reason they know this is because the guy tried to run away when they were testing him. Um, so as far as I'm concerned, there is no drug testing for this fight. I only now kind of trust VADA. I mean, I just trust them. The reason I trust VADA, and look, they've got their own issues as well. But the reason I trust VADA is because they caught Canelo. <laughs> they caught the biggest name in the sport. Before we talk about this fight, by the way, is there drug testing? And I'm not talking about the clean boxing program all year round drug testing, but is there drug testing for Deontay Wilder versus Luis Ortiz? I mean, I am religiously on the page of um, VADA, their Twitter page, where they kind of announce who's entered the program, who's not, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I haven't seen no tweet from VADA saying VADA welcomes Luis Ortiz and Deontay Wilder to drug testing for their upcoming fight. I haven't seen that. And I kind of want to see that tweet. And the reason I want to see that tweet is because of Luis Ortiz's new shape. I have to be honest with you. I want to see that tweet. We haven't seen it. So I'm guessing there isn't extensive drug testing for that fight either, which is a shame. We are talking the WBC heavyweight title. Um, that for me is still the biggest title you can win in boxing. Not in the heavyweight division, in boxing, right? It's the belt I remember most when I saw it wrapped around as a young kid around Mike Tyson's waist. That is a problem. They should be setting an example and I don't think they are. Anyway, back to Chavez versus Danny Jacobs. So yeah, there won't be VADA testing. VADA have ruled themselves out of this because why wouldn't they? I mean, again, you tried to test someone and he ran away. He ran away. Um, boxing, and I've said this before, so I'm kind of probably repeating myself. Boxing really doesn't give a shit, does it, about drug testing. I mean, if a fighter, if fighter X, a month out or, or six or seven weeks out from his fight, decides to run away from testers, I'm sorry, what does that mean? What, what does that mean? That means he's doing something. That means he's doing something. People, and I've noticed it already online, Chavez Jr. fans are saying stuff like, yeah, but the fight wasn't signed. He doesn't have to test himself as the fight. The idea of VADA is to catch people in situations when they don't think they're going to get caught. That, that, that's the idea. We don't want to test you when the fight's being signed because that's when you know you're probably going to be playing clean. We want to catch you when you're playing dirty. And most times that's when you're not signed up to fight. So that's very disappointing. And really and truly, I don't know if I blame Eddie Hearn for this one. I think I do. You shouldn't book a fighter if they've refused uh, drug testing, right? You shouldn't book him. What example is this setting for people when um, a big name fighter on the eve of a big fight can run away from drug testing, but yet still have that fight? Chavez Jr. will probably make seven figures, seven figures, maybe two million. Could make that much money, could, right? He's a big name. Um, he ran away from drug testing and his punishment is nothing, absolutely nothing. If I'm Danny Jacobs, I mean, Danny Jacobs is one of those guys that will just take the fight regardless because it's a good paycheck for him. But Danny Jacobs has got to be aware that this guy is cheating. 
this guy's cheating. I don't want people to tell me, yeah, Ade, but um, he's not because nothing, he's cheating. He's cheating. You don't run away from blood and urine unless there's something in your blood and urine. You don't. Uh, so yeah, very disappointing that Chavez is allowed to fight. And again, just a black mark on the sport of boxing, people. It really is a black mark on the sport of boxing. Peace.